Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today it's time for Operation Golden Justice where we are destroying an alien relay and are going to get some intel, some much needed intel that is. Fighting against 15 enemies uh, are well infiltrated in this mission and we got five soldiers, one of which is a rookie so we need that extra infiltration and uh, let's directly start and get going okay landed 12 turns until we need to be here and there are 15 enemies in front of us hmm. good aviator On the move. it's going to be our scout here triple viper We got go, go, go. Ever Vigilant, which is super good uh, for just charging in. Look, I like the idea of a bit of uh, flanking here. Rookie gets some help and the support goes for the back line. Vipers should move to here. Mm. Mm. What a tasty position. I have eyes on the enemy. What a tasty position. That could be a triplet uh, kill with a uh, triplet pull. They found us. Come on. Come on, dog. There was the option for a flamethrower kill. And then reality came knocking at our door Let's do this. good fortifying ourselves before teaching these uh, snacks a lesson double burning Aviator gets the aviation protocol. Let's take it. Eight protocol, of course, just kidding. We're taking over this drone here. Fabulous, things are just working out. I love it when a plan comes uh, to life. But this drone definitely needs to die next. I definitely got that one. This should not trigger because the doors, that one door is still closed. Very good. And the Naja needs to die. That's it. Fabulous. Full cover. And the rookie moves to here. I said crowd control. Got the two vipers well and truly burning. More Advent. Yeah. 
Yep, go for the drone. I like that. No, 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 no. Go for the drone. The drone. Thank you. <laughs> Counter drone. Let's first of all get that other drone down. Check it before you get too close. Got some implacable here. Fortunately not untouchable. Renvin will get the mind merge. Limited damage, uh, chance to stun or disorient, I think. That would not be bad. The other option is, of course. A lovely incineration. And yet another option is to position ourselves a bit better. And by doing so reach both of them with a flamer. So this guy is taken out and he is flanked. If you say so. so naturally, when we're moving in, this here is going to hurt. Still disorientation right there and we're moving up the vipers are still burning and let's just overwatch why not actually gets to act okay we can deal with the poison that's not a problem let me correct it. It's not a big problem, is the correct statement there. Tired of waiting around. How many is that now? I guess 
that'll be okay. I got it, right? Okay, I'll go. Gets implacable. Picks up the loot, double LRM core. That's what we want to see. Good, even more loot. I like that. No more poison. Thank you. All right, I'll go. Running. Moves to here. And again, I don't want poison. So we're good. many more rounds do we have the drone last round so we gotta figure something out okay the problem is we're getting reinforcements so this is the last turn for the drone might as well remove it and we can't push forward so close that door Pick up the loot wherever possible. It's over here. Overwatch. Um, Whatever you say. Moves to there. This is a good all-around position for an Overwatch, and all right, this move uh, looks into this direction. Also not bad. What? Why are they coming from behind? Always a little surprise. Good, we have implacable, which is helpful. Seems this cool. here should be a kill. Unless, of course, we're not critting. Reinforcements soon are going to come up as well. So, from now on, it's not getting any better I hope it's worth it let's move already so let's try to take this high ground and push forward Overwatch. we're not going to take the extra move Not a good shot. Take the Viper. Locked onto it. Kill it. closer to the target we could CC it if necessary or I 
actually start to kill it. Brian front lines. Let's deal a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. Your mind is your weakness. Naja sniper. Not anymore. Big deal. It's killing time. Good. Free reload. This should not trigger because the door is still closed. And Aaron aggressively moves forward. We only got one more shot, then we need to reload again. Five more rounds. I think from here we can take shots, so we should be okay. I'm going. We need to reload with many of our operatives. Reload Overwatch. Got it covered. Affirmative. Overwatch. Affirmative. Overwatch. Overwatch. And Overwatch. Okay. Hopefully we'll get two, maybe even all three of them down. Good. Reinforcements very, very nicely handled. Very good. So question of the day is how to get out of here and what to do. How about making sure that the evac is going to come to here. Let's see, is this triggering? No. Okay. Well, maybe. Maybe we're just going to grab some loot and destroy that objective then. Item here. Let's do this. Rock and roll. Uh, could go to here. And sure, let's just kill that thing. Reinforcements soon are going to come in and towards the end of these missions the reinforcements are just going to become absolute crazy. Hope this doesn't trigger. Have checked that before. Should have. Menace one five. We confirm destruction of the relay. Overwatch. Reload. Overwatch. Oh wow. Lots of hit points. Good, one of them is down.
moves into flanking position. Aviator moves up, kill this guy, very nice. Hit. It is clear. And can we kill this guy? Alright, yes, Overwatch. See, everything around, they are now going to come in. No more steady eddy, from now on it is all out warfare. Good, we can stun it. We could use one of those. Which is the most likely event of action. Barely, barely. Reloading just whenever we can next round there are going to be yet again reinforcements the armor. And they haven't triggered yet did they Okay, which means we are we are fine <laughs> What a massive shot I like it Just want to get out of here. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Evil laughter. Just in time. Here I come. Heading home. No problem, boss. Getting out of here. Barely made it out. I'm going. Okay, I'll go. I'm going. These missions are actually becoming quite difficult now. Yeah. It was supposed to be 13 enemies, and then we ended up with 25. It's one of those uh, missions, um, I remember in the original Long War, there was kind of trap missions. They looked super easy and then a lot of reinforcements came in. I think there was one of those missions. 
where you're just fighting reinforcements every single round and you're effectively uh, forced to evac. Got another shinobi right here. Okay. Well, not bad. Ranvan. Ooh, finally. Rapid reaction. Don't want that. We want rapid fire. That'll give us more damage. And more damage is good damage. Damn good ground is definitely something I would like to take. The dodge is good. And evasive is very good. I had that in my last playthrough. And just a hundred bonus dodge is good. Because it is one 100% uh, ensured reduction. Now we're going for damn good ground here with him. And five dodge per enemy that you can see is also incredibly awesome. That here gives plus 10 defense and that here could give up to 30 defense and both together on high ground would mean that he is nigh unhittable. A Aram. Uh, additional healing would be cool, but I think failsafe is better. So far we didn't need that much healing. A single pack deals uh, heal 6 um, hit points. Here it would heal 10. This on the other hand Let's us hack more aggressively. Hmm. The healing is good. I don't underestimate it. But since we do have temporary hit points oftentimes, you don't want to get hit in the first place. So let's put failsafe on. And we got that is great for 10. That is great as well. A protocol now neutralizes fire po poison. <laughs> that is awesome. Run gun. Damn it, if that wouldn't be so good. Medical protocol. The, f the fact that it is just eight protocol, which you can use in order to get bleeding acid, poison, and fire down, that is not bad. But you could get a lot more damage out of this. On the other hand, they are not a damage class. So let's go with support. No shit, Sherlock. Really? I thought we had an unlimited roster at Bradford. Thanks for letting me know. Now it all makes sense, and I was wondering why people couldn't go on missions. Okay, so. Hmm. That is good. But I want to finish making contact. So Toxic finally got his next training. Fortress is too good to not take it. Uh, let's double check Toxic. Um, 
Is he unable to train because he's tired or is he unable to train because, you know... I'm pretty sure you can take all of the abilities, but apparently you need a lot of experience in between. Hmm. Good. Well, now we got Fuse. Fuse isn't bad at all. Free action. Super good, actually. 10 days of training for Fortress and can't take another Psy Ops yet, but we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Inside knowledge, that would be good. We should make sure our troops are fully equipped and ready for a tough mission. I'm guessing security will be tight at the facility. I've updated our latest operational objectives, Commander. Avenger spotting new Good, let's get the Illyrium Crystals. If your newfound understanding will bring us closer to a decisive ending. Wait, wait, wait. Recovered. Um... And we had a couple of recruitments. Intel. And we have six people on recruiting. That's okay. Don't mind that at all. You know what would be cool for the recruitment? If uh, you don't recruit faceless ones, that would be great. In case you are unaware, there are faceless ones that regularly are being recruited. They do not only not help you, but uh, they also pass on information and make it more likely that negative events happen. Sealed armor and barrier, two side trips. Okay. Let me also check something. I think we had a recruiting option. Yes, Alan Smith. 72 M aim. Looks good to me. Might be taking you on the next mission because guess what? You do have a very well rounded um, average movement, high aim, average hit point kind of uh, setup. So, unless you're going to be a specialist, uh, literally anything else uh, works. I don't think that another shinobi will come out of it, but any other shooty shooty class uh, would work very well with that setup. And even a specialist wouldn't be a problem. Good. Then again, if I saw correctly, we do have a new mission. Smash and grab, seven days. Might as well do that. So, Blood Angels are technically available. Attack is almost done with his training, so let's just wait the seven hours. Can't train further. In the meantime, Zukuger will start his training. And the Blood Angels will deploy. So, Blood Angels, uh, we got quite a few ready and on mission. Out of curiosity, John Vega, yeah, would need uh, extra experience in order to level up further. That's fine. Tired. Got another Shinobi here, so we could run double Shinobi. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of that. But didn't you have 
Ask a Mike, get some trial by fire. Any soldier below, below the rank of a sergeant will automatically be promoted. So uh, we would be doing well to take low ranking soldiers. Might not be the most sexy setup, but it could certainly work if I'm just looking at uh, the class balance here. Double Shinobi is normally not really something that I would run. However, it would mean that this guy here is going to get an auto promotion. And that on the other hand is something that I can get behind. Six people, 13 to 15. Nope, it's not a, it's not bad. I think it's actually okay. And body locks would also get a promotion plus Quake would get a promotion. Like we're getting a lot of promotions out of it. Um, Aaron is higher than a sergeant, right? Ataxia on mission. Sergeant. Yeah, Quake and Anderson would get a promotion. And Baldilocks would get a promotion. That's fine. Aaron is. The tech sergeant would definitely not uh, not get a promotion. Well, might, but not from the leadership of the tax here. All right, let me figure this out and we're getting that ready. Okay, we're ready. We're hitting 100% very nicely. I mean, it takes a while to, to do so, I guess, but we would get a lot of promotions out of it. So I guess it's worth it. Plus we're getting some material. And we're going to go back to harvesting our Elarium and the Alloys. That's an important one. Hmm, that is an important mission. One that I cannot just ignore. Blood Angels are there. How long does this take? Two days. One day. I think we're just going to do this here. One day until must, uh, we must launch, then we're boosting. So it, then that would mean there are five days remaining, enough to get a team going. Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. Um, we do have plenty of cores again. For the time being, that's good enough. I'm just thinking, get another scientist. Scientist isn't bad just to speed up our research. Yeah, let's 
let's continue to use uh, that and keeping a little bit of cash. Avenger plotting new course. Strategic resource located. Well, that was meager. I was actually expecting a bit more. How much longer until this? 19 hours. Might heal a bit. Everything else looks fine. We're having nothing that it, that majorly screams this, that this isn't working. Let's do two people on recruiting here as well. Good, let's boost this infiltration. Yes, please, exactly 100%. That's going to be our next mission and then we're going to shift them over. Yeah, in terms of just efficiency, I mean, we do have so many, so, so many, um, people on infiltration. I think, by the way, this here means that they can level up, I guess. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think that means that they can level up because Toxic has leveled up and he doesn't have that sign. So he's also now an Archolite and no longer an Initiate. Ranger training, Shinobi training, Which of the classes do we have? Assaults, we could definitely use another one. Grandiers, we could use another one. Hmm, Rangers, we could definitely use another one and we're training one at the moment, so that's fine. Sharpshooter is good. Shinobis were good. Specialists, I actually like specialists. So another specialist would not be bad. Technicals, we have enough. Looks like a healthy roster in my perspective. We're doing fine. And now with so many Shinobis, we can also kind of alternate through so that the training isn't, isn't that problematic. I still think we need one or two more Shinobis. Yeah, we're taking we're taking one more here. Maybe we're having enough then and then it's just a matter of actually getting more classes. I also don't mind just leveling them up as uh, with missions. That's not a bad uh, that's not a bad practice either. And as long as we do have captains later that allow us to immediately promote uh, anyone who is below sergeant, then it'll effectively take two missions to get someone to sergeant uh, tier. Uh, we'll just drag them along for a mission or whatnot, and then they are sergeant. So that's good. Cool. We can definitely free this one here up because uh, that will mean our seven scientists are doing scientific work writing their theses and um, yeah researching away that's good cool that's uh, the end of today's episode guys if you enjoyed what you've seen i'll leave a comment and a like down below and see you on the next episode bye bye